Okay, we're getting closer and closer to uh, the start of the regular season in Major League Baseball. And we had a great discussion today, I thought, uh, throughout the show and then with our pal Mike Blowers. You can listen to the podcast about it, about which Mariner of the young guys coming in this year has got the most pressure on him. And there's been some talk lately that maybe Dustin Ackley, considering that he's a guy they drafted number two overall, even though it's just his third season, really full season of the majors this year, might be on the same level as, as a guy that you and I both think really does, is carrying that burden in, uh, in, in Mr. Smoke, in terms of having the most pressure. Now for Smoke, of course, who's I think had about twice as many uh, plate appearances as Ackley has, mm -hmm. to me this is a you know, win or go home. He, he doesn't play well this year. If he doesn't show that he can be what they thought he could be this year, I think they move on. Uh, I want to speak for you, but I think we both sort of feel that in the case of Ackley, yeah, he had a bad year last year, but you're not going to make a decision like that based on this year. No. It? I mean, last year was his first full season, so he's now right. going to start his, fir his first or his second full season. And last year he was dealing with an injury that required surgery immediately following the season, one that apparently had been getting progressively worse through his college career into his pro career and finally got to a point where it just had to be managed surgically. So we don't know how much of an impact that played last year, but I think – I think the slack is gone for Justin Smoke. I yeah. think it's that. This is it. I think, as, as you said, win or go home. This is a year where patience is 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 gone. They've said it's your job to start the season, so that pressure of competition in spring training doesn't exist. It's his job to go out there and start the year. If he doesn't produce. I think you're going to see that he's going to be somebody they look to move or they're going to make adjustments with him or, or Morales will be in there every single day mm -hmm. and you're going to see him riding the bench because I think he's gotten many more opportunities. He's had many more opportunities. He's dealt with injuries too, remember? He both, sure. Both thumb injuries. He had his, his father passing away. There was a lot he's dealt with, but last year he didn't have any of that. He didn't have to deal with that stuff. So I think we've seen enough of Justin Smoke to say, all right, the slack is gone, the patience is gone, where exactly you know, one full season. Mm -hmm. He's kind of kind of hampered by injury. Let's see what he is. But there's a there's a lot more slack left for him. Well, look at the offseason moves that they made. The Mariners made uh, in picking up Jason Bay, Abanez, Morse. One thing all those and Morales, who you talked about already. One thing all those guys can do is play first base. Whereas you really didn't bring in anyone in case Ackley doesn't work out. You got Andino in there, but you got him to back up every yeah. infield position. You didn't bring in a new second baseman. So I don't. You know, sure the pressure is always there to perform, but a little bit more on Smoke than Ackley actually. A lot more.